about this past weekend's game at Townsend? Well, it was a uh, disappointing loss this weekend. I thought that, um, you know, Townsend's a really good football team. And, um, you know, they play with a lot of confidence and they're an experienced team. And, uh, you know, I thought our guys, again, we played hard, but, uh, you know, we didn't, we didn't do what it, you know, what it takes to win the football game. So, you know, we'll go back to the drawing board this week and, and work to get better. But, uh, you know, I like the guys' attitudes and, you know, there's a lot of things I saw that we did improve in. What were some of those improvements that were made and, and what are some things that you need to build on? Well, I thought, you know, defensively, I thought we did a better job uh, being gap sound and stopping the run. Um, uh, you know, offensively, I thought we did a better job running the football. Um, you know, unfortunately, we had, you know, two turnovers that led to points right before the half. And, you know, I kind of, you know, put our defense behind the eight ball. But, um, uh, you know, I thought our kicking game was, was, was uh, solid. We didn't lose the kicking game. I don't think we won it either. But, um, you know, uh, Picaro uh, had a decent day punting. I think he averaged about 42 yards. So, you know, a lot of, lot of, lot of pluses, a lot of positive things to take away from the game. Coach, what concerns do you have about your offense right now, scoring only 13 points through the first two games, if any? Oh, you know, definitely it's a concern, you know. Um, uh, you know, scoring 10 points one game and three points the next, you know, it's going to be hard to beat people like that. Um, I think we're going we're gonna to simplify some things and really work to, you know, work matchups. And we knew we had, you know, a bunch of guys banged up and some guys that were out, and, you know, we'll be getting some guys back, you know, the next week or so. But, uh I think that, that we, you know, we have a good plan coming to this week right here, and we'll simplify, simplify some things and get our playmakers the ball. With only two games in, with scoring only 13 points, do you know what kind of team you have at this point of the season? Yeah, we have a tough football team. We have a young and experienced football team. And I think that's the biggest thing about it. You know, it's a lot of guys that, um, you know, older guys that have been in the program, but they just haven't had a lot of snaps. And, you know, if you don't think experience is important, go, go interview for a job. You know, go apply for a job. The first thing we'll ask you is about experience. So, you know, that's a big, that's a big thing. But um, uh, two games in, I've seen improvement. And, uh, we, you know, we're going to work to get better next week. How is it as a coach to, to not let these guys know that there's no panic right now? So it's two games in. As a coaching staff and a head coach, you know, how do you, how do, you do that? You know, we, we don't talk about wins and losses. You know, we talk about improvement. And, um, you know, from the start, from day one, we talked and challenged our guys about getting better week in and week out. So, uh, you know, when we came in after the game, obviously we talked about the things we need to work on. But at the same time, you point out the bright spots, you know, where we improved, um, things that we did well. But uh, by no stretch are we, you know, panicking around here. Unfortunately, we, you know, we don't want to be on two. But um, uh, I, like, I like the growth I've seen on the football team, and I like the attitude. What do you know about Gardner Webb and uh, the challenge that they will present for you uh, this Saturday? Gardner Webb is a well coached football team, and they're very physical up front on both sides of the ball. Um, their O line, um, they play together as a unit, and, and you know, they're technicians. Uh, defensively up front, those guys are big, they're stout, and, and, and very physical. Very physical. I think the linebacker core are, are physical young men as well. They get downhill, and um, you know, they don't do a whole lot, but they're very sound in what they do. Going back to the, uh, the offense, you said you want to simplify things moving forward. Do you, do you think that was the main reason why you were only able to score 13 points through the first two games because it's a new offense that you're implementing for this program and maybe uh, some of the players are just not able to catch on um, this early in the season? Well, no, I think the guys know the, the, the system. They understand the playbook and, you know, things of that nature. I don't think that's it. But I think we have to find some things that we do well and, and, and work to, you know, uh, exploit people with what we do well and what our guys are confident in. But, uh, you know, I think, you know, the guys on offense understand exactly what we're trying to do. Um, I just think that we need to make sure that, we, you know, we put them in the best situation possible for them to be successful. For a young team to start three straight on the road, that, that can't be easy. Yeah, you know, but we knew the schedule going in. And, you know, we don't make excuses around here. And uh, we don't have an explanation. So uh, we knew the schedule three months ago. And it was our job and my job as a head coach to get these guys prepared, you know, to play three games on the road. But uh, luckily, this was a little bit closer to home. We're not in Nashville or uh, wherever we just came from, up in Maryland. But, uh, you know, uh, I'm sure we'll have, you know, quite a few fans there, you know, supporting the Eagles. When you uh, just spoke about uh, simplifying the system, you said you, you, you basically want to um, find the things that are working for you guys. Right. Are you willing to, to, to share what those things are, the positives that you were able to find in the offense or whatever through the first two weeks of the season? 
Well, I thought when we were patient and, and we took what the offense, I mean, what the defense was giving us, uh, whether it be the quick passing game, um, you know, and just simple run plays. You know, it's, it's football, and I always say it all the time. It's not hard. It's not, you know, you don't have to make it complicated. So, uh, you know, and, and another thing we, I think we have to do is, is work uh, to, to find the right matchups. You know, we have guys, you know, talented young men on, on our offense side of the ball, and we have to, you know, find, you know, uh, matchups that, that, you know, cause people problems. But um, it's, I, I, we're, we're going to be fine. We're going to be just fine. We're going to be fine. We have to improve at every position. But, um, you know, Michael was in the game. Uh, I thought that he managed the game. Um, he went out with the, with, the, with the injury. And when the young guy, uh, Richard, came in, uh, Pee Wee, I thought he did a really good job of managing the game. He didn't get excited. You know, he was, you know, mild-mannered, just as calm as he could be. And, you know, it was good to see the team rally around him. You know, offense and defense, both sides of the ball, you know, were excited and, and you know, rallied around him. And I thought he made some good throws. And, you know, we had to make, you know, we dropped a couple balls uh, at the receiver position. And, you know, I think when we get the run game going, uh, like we know it can, you know, what we're capable of, that'll help and take some pressure off the quarterback. Are you playing a lot of players right now? Is that because of injuries? Or, or do you want to get a lot of kids out there and get them exposed and get them some playing time? <laughs> we had a bunch of guys out. I mean, EJ Hicks, you know, is one of our top players, playmakers on offensive side of the ball. Um, he just came off injury and played. I think he only played about 12 reps on uh, on Saturday. Um, and and like for example, Cox and Kiwan Cox and Chidi Okanye, they you know they both came back. That was their first game playing. And um, next week we'll have some more guys that that'll be out there. Uh, Brandon Bailey still hasn't played. You know, all conference linebacker. Um, uh, Tino Allen, which is I think is an outstanding young man, outstanding player. And uh, you know Jamal uh, Jamal Curry Elliott, which we all know you know what he brings to the, to the, to the program. But, um, you know, we get some guys back off of injury within the next week or so. And, uh, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure that'll help us uh, solidify some things. This has been an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network.